So Bonnie and I are in the beautiful North Georgia mountain city of Big Canoe. It's a brisk day outside, and I could not think of anything better than a big batch of chicken wings. Mm -hmm. So I'm here with my good buddy Art Shand, yep. and Art's going to show us a new way to cook anything wings, pork butts, things along those lines that actually has some real advantages with this style cooker. So tell us what we're doing here. Yep, so uh, thanks George. This is an Orion cooker. As George mentioned, you can cook almost anything you want. I have had turkeys, a whole 20 pound turkey in here. I have had spare ribs. I have had pork ribs, pork butts, and of course a lot of chicken wings, which are my favorite, I think, George. But you do have to put some charcoal in the uh, burn uh, ring which is on the outside of a what will be uh, a sealed interior cooker uh, in the okay, advantage. So let me just stop you and ask oh, yes, of course. There's a lot of people freak out about using brick charcoal now because of the carcinogens associated mm. with the stuff coming off there. You just told me you're going to cook our wings with charcoal and I'm looking over there it's actually match light which I know is full of chemicals so why don't I need to be worried about that? That's a very good question and in fact yes it is match light and that's key because we want to be able to get a rapid fire going when we actually do fire it. Uh, a lot of traditional charcoal may take hmm, 45 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 to get burned around, but the match light, of course, gets things going quickly. But the cool thing about this Orion cooker, which also involves this top, this will go down on top like that. We'll put some hot charcoal in here, some coals, we'll get that fired up. But you can see this is a sealed unit, and therefore, none of the charcoal smoke the so-called carcinogens that are associated with charcoal mm -hmm. are allowed to enter into the cooking chamber. So where does the smoke come from? The smoke. Let's do the smoke thing right now and show how that, <coughs> how that works. There is a stainless steel pan and it goes down into the very bottom of the pan like this. And uh, the smoke comes from any one of a variety of different wood chips. Uh, George, in this case, I think I'm gonna. I've elected to use mesquite because it's chicken. Uh, it's chicken Whereas wings. You might use cherry with pork or something. Okay, you could. And okay, what? just for uh, the difference. Viva la difference. I will put in a little bit of cherry chips as well around with the mesquite, but primarily mesquite. So I want to make sure I get this. The, the charcoal and the stuff with the chemicals in it's going to be outside creating heat. This fresh natural wood is going to be inside, inside generating smoke. Generating smoke. It will okay. never burn. It never gets quite hot enough to combust the wood chips, but hot enough to create a a, a smoky flavor that the uh, the okay. chips can burn slightly. So let's put a couple handfuls, and just spread them around the bottom of the pan in here, and there is a little channel between the outside of the pan and that stainless steel pan that I put in there, okay. and that's where we put the wood chips. So if we were doing a pork butt, for instance, in that pan in the bottom, we could put apple juice or something like that. Yeah, absolutely. So what comes next? Right over there. So what's going to be next is, uh, I think we can put the charcoal around. Okay. But not light it yet. We're not going to light it. That's the, essentially, the last thing we do. Okay. The top will get some ch uh, charcoal as well. Okay. So let's, okay. let's spread the charcoal. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we've got two rows underneath. We've got our charcoal around. Art's setting up the last of the wings. So the last thing we need to do is put the top on, which fits very snugly. This is okay, George, I think we got the bottom ring going well. The last thing to do is light up top. All right. Let's get that uh, match light charcoal, the Kingsford match light. Okay, and when do we start the clock on this? Do we wait for the, the charcoal to get white like you do with a regular barbecue, or...? Not at all. I think now would be the perfect time to start the clock. Okay, George, what I'm doing is pulling off the wings. They are at 165 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the recommended final temperature for chicken wings. These look, these look just good.
Thank you.